Your home router and millions of other routers around the world might be vulnerable to a buffer overflow attack. These can lead to remote code execution. So who all is affected, how are they affected, and what should you do about it? Let's talk about it. According to this article by Sentinel-1, this is due to a flaw in the K-Code's net USB protocol. This service allows functionality between USB connected devices and other devices on your network. Also, according to Sentinel-1, this vulnerability was discovered on September 9th, but patches were released for vendors uh, around October 4th. Now, who all is affected? If you use a device from any of the following vendors, Netgear, TP-Link, Tenda, Edimax, D-Link, or Western Digital, among others, then you might be affected. However, whenever you search the CVE online, MITRE only shows three different devices in specific versions from Netgear. Well, I would advise you to really just use caution and consider yourself to be affected until you can verify that you're not affected. Let's go through specifically what MITRE is talking about here. MITRE says that if you are using the D7800 router, the R6400 V2, or the R6700 V3, then you may be affected. And that's only if you are using versions older than version 1.0.1.68 for the D7800 or 1.0.4.122 for either the R6400 V2 or the R6700 V3. If you're using a newer version, then you should be covered. Those are the versions that include the patch. So if you're using an older version to those for those devices that we just talked about, then look into getting a firmware update. It should have been provided by the vendor. Now, something that this vulnerability does not do is hit that like button. So make sure that you help me to make up for its shortcomings by hitting the like button right now. Now let's talk about the CVE itself. This has been assigned to CVE CVE 20214560. And according to MITRE, the description is devices using net USB don't validate supplied buffer size, which allows attackers to overwrite the buffer and execute arbitrary code. Now that's a lot. And if you're not familiar with how buffer overflows work, then don't worry, let's walk through it. So what, what is a buffer? Whenever an application or somebody needs to do a task, then they will basically tell the computer how much buffer they need. And a buffer is basically an allocated memory space that is specifically reserved to run the specific task. Secure applications will validate that buffer space and make sure that an application or a task is not using more buffer than it actually needs. However, in this case, whenever an application or a service does not validate the buffer space, such as right now, then attackers are able to overwrite the buffer space with just random nonsense and then replace that with their own arbitrary code. And that can allow attackers to execute their own commands, which can ultimately lead to them either being able to pivot around your network and gain access to other things, exfiltrate data, or even upload ransomware. So what should you do? If you're watching this at home, basically all you need to do is make sure that your router is patched for this vulnerability. And to do that, all you need to do is plug your computer in using ethernet, or you can log into your management console. Generally, it could be something like 192.168.1.1. That should take you to the management console. And then you'll need to log into the admin portal. If this is the first time that you're doing that, then you probably need to use the default credentials, which will be located on the back of your router. However, if you have already logged in, then log in. In either case, you need to make sure, obviously, you're not using default credentials. So if you are logging in with default credentials, be sure to change your password as soon as possible. And if your router allows for a multi-factor authentication method, then be sure to enable that as well. Once you've done that, try to find the check for updates tab on your management console. And if your router is on the most recent version, then no updates should be displayed here. However, if there is an update displayed, make sure that you download that. And if there's an option to automatically install updates just to kind of set it and forget it, that may not be a bad idea for home use. Now, second, don't freak out. Log4j was kind of like a freak out moment and that was in some cases warranted. However, in this case, really it may not be needed to really freak out just yet. Buffer overflow exploits are pretty difficult to write. And as Sentinel-1 has reported in their article, they haven't seen any evidence of this exploit being run in the wild. And that may actually be in part because this hasn't been formally made into an actual 
duplicable exploit. The reason for that is it really requires the creator of an exploit and the attacker to have a pretty strong knowledge on how assembly runs, how buffer overflows can be done, and really how to interact at that level, at a very low level with the target device. All that's kind of advanced. And there are a lot of attackers out there with less sophisticated capability that really are just kind of utilizing existing exploits. That being said, because this can be made into an exploit at any given point in time and then thus used by those less sophisticated attackers, it's really important to make sure that your router is patched from this vulnerability. So we'll continue to monitor and see what becomes of this, but you should definitely make sure that your system is patched. And while you're making sure that your system is patched, you should watch this video about 2022 cyber threats that you should be aware of. Also, be sure to hit the like button as a sacrifice to the YouTube algorithm. My dreams are haunted by the YouTube algorithm and your likes and comments of affirmation keep me sane. So with all that, I'll see you all next time. Bye.